Welcome to Volume 3 of the Private Pilot Written Exam Practice Questions. In this video, we will be going over practice questions from the FAA Private Pilot Written Exam. Refer to airport diagram in Figure 48 on the left. The portion of the runway identified by the letter A may be used for Section A in the airport diagram indicates a displaced threshold. According to the pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge, displaced thresholds may be used for takeoffs in either direction. They may also be used for landing in the opposite direction. The best answer for question 1 is B, since the portion of the runway in section A may only be used for taxiing and takeoff in the direction that the arrows are pointing. Who has final authority to accept or decline any land and hold short clearance? According to Chapter 14 of the Pilot's Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge, the pilot in command has final authority to accept or decline any land and hold short clearance. The correct answer is A, the pilot in command. Refer to Figure 38. Determine the approximate landing ground roll distance. As illustrated, the pressure altitude is 5,000 feet, the headwind is calm, and the outside air temperature is 101 degrees. Refer to the area of the chart denoting the ground roll distance when pressure altitude is 5,000 feet. Since the outside air temperature of 101 degrees is well above the indicated temperature of 41 degrees, we need to make an adjustment to the ground roll distance to account for the increased air temperature. The chart indicates to increase the landing ground roll distance by 10% for each 60 degrees in Fahrenheit temperature increase above standard. Since the standard air temperature assumed at 5,000 feet is 41 degrees and the current indicated air temperature is 101 degrees, we can see the current temperature is 60 degrees above the standard temperature of 41 degrees. Given the increase in temperature, we would increase the landing roll distance by 10%. 10% of 495 is 49.5. Add 49.5 to 495 to get the adjusted landing ground roll distance of 544.5 feet. The best answer is B, since that is the closest to the exact ground roll distance of 544.5 feet. Determine the total distance required to land over a 50-foot obstacle. As indicated, the pressure altitude is 5,000 feet, the headwind is 8 knots, and the outside air temperature is 41 degrees. See the section in the chart that matches the altitude of 5,000 feet and air temperature of 41 degrees. Since the current temperature of 41 degrees equals the standard temperature, no adjustments need to be made for the air temperature. Since there is an 8-knot headwind, we can decrease the distance shown by 20% since a 10% reduction is required for each 4 knots of headwind as indicated in the chart. 20% of 1,195 is 239. Subtract 239 from 1,195 feet to get the correct distance required to land over a 50-foot obstacle of 956 feet. The correct answer is B. Refer to the chart above. Determine the approximate manifold pressure setting with 2,450 RPM to achieve 65% maximum continuous power at 6,500 feet with a temperature of 36 degrees Fahrenheit higher than standard. See the right side of the chart with the cruise power settings adjusted for the increased air temperature. Move down to the row that corresponds with the pressure altitude on the left. Since the indicated pressure altitude is 6,500 feet, look at the right side of the chart to the corresponding power settings when the altitude is between 6,000 and 8,000 feet. For this question, the approximate manifold pressure setting would be 21 inches of mercury since that is the closest manifold pressure setting for the indicated pressure altitude of 6,500 feet. The term angle of attack is defined as the angle between the 
According to the glossary in the pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge, the angle of attack is defined as the angle that is formed by the cord of the airfoil and the direction of the relative wind. The correct answer is A. When the course deviation indicator, also known as the CDI needle, is centered using a VOR test signal, the omnibearing selector and the to from indicator should read, review the aeronautical information manual, chapter one, dash one, dash four, under the section titled VOR receiver check. With the course deviation indicator centered, the omni bearing selector should read zero degrees with the to from indicator showing from, or the omni bearing selector should read 180 degrees with the to from indicator showing to. The correct answer is therefore C. What is the recommended communications procedure for landing at Lincoln Municipal Airport during the hours when the tower is not in operation? As illustrated in the chart, the recommended communication procedure when the control tower is not in operation is to communicate intentions on the common traffic advisory frequency, abbreviated CTAF. As indicated in the chart on the left, the common traffic advisory frequency for Lincoln Municipal Airport is 118.5. The correct answer is A. Options B and C would not apply, since 122.95 is the Unicom frequency for Lincoln Municipal Airport. The navigation facility at Dallas-Fort Worth International is a see the hexagon symbol in the center of the chart surrounded inside a square next to the number 5. As indicated by the chart legend in the bottom left, this symbol indicates a VOR DME. The correct answer is C. Where is Loop City Municipal located in relation to the city? You can find the distance from the city in the top of the chart. See the number 1 followed by NW. This indicates the airport is 1 mile northwest of the city. The correct answer is therefore B. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe if you found the information in this video helpful. See our other videos showing more practice questions from the FAA private pilot written test. Feel free to leave a comment or question in the comments field below.